Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I wanted to share with you a message that was given to Edward Umling. Now, I know many of you already watch him, so you've probably already seen it. But I think that possibly some may not watch him anymore because of some things that didn't seem to happen back in December or November. Well, I want you to know that most of you know that I'm on the Grafted In Team Jesus team. I get on almost every night, or at least for a little while, and we spend time on any of his messages that have, well, really all of them. We listen to them. We pull them up on his website. We look at the words, how they're written, where they're divided. And we discuss them because we thoroughly believe this man is hearing from God. This is one of the real deals, people. So it would be good if you listen to this about uh, the children being taken. It's called Things Foretold. Things that come upon you. And just today, it went up today, March the 15th. Today is the 15th and it's 5.14 p.m. So many people are realizing that this guy is, is talking from the Lord. I mean, he's getting the words from the Lord, in other words. Not just making them up and hoping they're right. So, um, you have to, some of these, you have to break them down. You have to realize, notice where he pauses, and there's just, it's not very long, but that's where a comma is. He'll get a word, and then later in the day he'll get a word, and later on he'll get a word, or maybe it's just a minute apart. I don't know, but they're not together. They're not dictated all together. They're like he'll say, this part has a word of knowledge. This part is a word of knowledge. Now that, a word of knowledge will be dictated all at the same time. Even though it may be, have commas in it. <laughs> okay, I'm just trying to help those who have had some issues with him understand it takes discernment on a lot of the things the Lord is giving. I don't really know why, but God is God, and His ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. And who can know the mind of Christ, right? So anyway, I'll put the link in the description box. And I hope you'll listen to it and leave a comment. Leave a question if you want to. And if we discuss this on the team tonight, then I'll get back with you about it, okay? I may not see it till tomorrow, though, because that's why I spend a couple hours with them. But it helps me. It's helping me to grow in more ways than one. And... When I feel right about it, I'll share with you some things that just happened recently. All right? Most of us, whether you know it or not, need heart healing and deliverance. Now, you may have been a real good person and didn't do the kind of things I did. You might have listened to the Lord since you first got saved. And that's great. But even that brings Satan wants you even more. <laughs> because you're too good. He wants you down. So I'm just saying nobody is exempt from attack. And I hope that you will understand that. Any issue you're having, even if it's like not a sin, well, it really is a sin if you look it up in the Word, like fear, worry, 
anxiety, depression. Uh, I don't know that de depression is a sin, but it's something you certainly can get rid of. Now, there are real medical problems with depression, like when you have a baby, your hormones are messed up, your serotonin levels drop, I don't know how it works. I don't remember the physiology behind it. But it should go away. You should be able to pray through it, and it should go away. But anyway, my point is, um, I hope you won't think this man is a false prophet just because some things did not happen the way you thought they should have. Um some of the stuff he said, he, he said himself recently, he did not get the year. So apparently he has seen some comments. Anyway, I'll let you go with that. And uh, I pray you have a blessed night or blessed day, whatever time you happen to see this. And I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.